Hello everyone, this is Satvik and in this video we will be discussing about Comics tool. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. Guys, first of all, really really thank you for all your support. If you want to connect to me personally, you can check out my Twitter and the LinkedIn. The links are in the description below. And if you want to be part of the community, you can check out my Discord server link. The link in the description below. So guys, in the previous videos, we discussed about command injection vulnerability. I had shown you like a theoretical part and also a lab part on taking Metasploitable as my target machine. So in this video, we'll be discussing about a cool tool which is named as Comics. So we uh, comic C O M M I X not comics it's comics. So this particular tool uh, which helps you in doing some automated stuff. So like you don't you don't need to always test for a manual manually. Okay, with the help of this tool you can do some automated stuff as well. Okay, you can get the shell. Okay, with the help of uh, like if if you assume that the particular application is vulnerable, then you can even get a shell. So that is the specialty of this tool. So we'll be showing, we'll be checking out that uh, this particular tool. So this is the uh, page, official page of this particular uh, tool. So this this tool being quite uh, for a long time here, and you can see I'll be providing the links for everything in the description below. Uh, and guys, you can see these are some few uh, features of this tool. Like this is easy to use. Yes, it is one of the easiest tool to use. So I'll be showing you how to use that as well. So it is cross compatible. So this particular tool is based on Python. So you can run it on almost all of uh, frameworks and also on almost all the operating systems. Okay, so that is what you can see. It is an open source stuff as well. Like you no need to have any license or anything like that. So uh, let's dive into the uh, GitHub page here. So GitHub page. Uh, so this is the GitHub page. So I'll be linking these everything in the description below. You can do check them out. So you can see that uh, it is based on Python. So it is an open source tool. You can see here. Like you can see, they also mentioned the way to download as well, or you can simply do apt install as well. So I'll show you that as well. Like uh, you can see it works with for both Python 2 and Python 3 series. Okay, so anything is fine here. So let me open my Kali. So as I told you, this particular tool uh, works for almost all the uh, operating system. So I don't like to mess up my other operating system. So I'll be going with uh, uh, this particular VM, which is Kali Linux based. And you can feel free to test that on any operating system of your choice. So let me open my terminal. So let me enlarge this a little bit. So let me do a quick apt update. So let so this uh, update my repository. This will update my repository. Guys, the easiest way to install is apt install comics. So you can like if your particular package manager has this comics thing. So it will done. It is done there. So you can quickly hit enter there. So as I'm root here, I'm not using any sudo or anything like that. But if you are non a root user, not root user, then you need to use sudo. So if you if I do a simple comics hyphen help or hyphen h, so I'm going to get some few options here. So installation is really really simple, guys. You can simply do that. Okay. So I hope most of the people that are following this video will be using Parrot or Kali on any means. So you don't need, you will not find any problem. Okay. Uh, so you can see it is also showing me some problem with the detection. Like it is telling that my dit, like it is uh, preferring Python version 2.7, but trust me guys, 3.9 or the three series will also work fine. So let's see some options here. So hyphen H is a normal option. So verbose version output, like you can throw to output one if you want to. Uh, like if you want to have session, these are some basic or general options like you don't need to uh, use it often. So this is an important section here target section. So the important thing here is URL or uh, you can always use for target uh, URL reload as well. You can see like it reloads once the command execution is done. So log file if you want to like if you can you can export the log file as well. Uh, bulk file like if there are multiple targets you can simply use option m and you can throw those into a, a text file and you can do stuff you can crawl depth okay uh, and like everything like that and there are some few requests as well 
so you can request like uh, let us assume that you are sending a url and you can also specify the host that you want to check on like you need to specify the host you can specify the cookie like let us assume that uh, if you want to access a particular url sometimes you need to have login there you need to be logged in there so if you are not logged in any tool or anything will doesn't work, anything will not work properly so in that case you can simply specify this cookie parameter and then you can do it and even you can use a tor network as well so for that you need to have tor so installation of tor is really simple apt install tor and you are done okay so you can also like if there if you find any issues with the ssl sometimes you might find it you can simply use an option hyphen force hyphen hyphen force ssl and for enumeration there are some cool stuff as well so i'll be discussing about them so you can read any file if you want to okay like that's a basic command uh, command injection stuff you can do like you can read a cat uh, etc password shared or anything like that there are some few modules as well so you can specify the dns servers etc uh, you can do like there are some few techniques over there so you can specify the injection technique so if you want to check them you can go to this uh, installation page and you can check them out okay so these are few other options you can also run a few of a few commands as well so long not pay, not going with the default stuff you can go with the stuff as well like you can skip the waf protection detection stuff and everything like that so now let's go so enough the uh, explanation part so let me find the ip address of my particular uh, So this is the IP address of my Metasploitable machine. So let me open my browser in this case. So yeah. So we'll be showing, I'll be showing this on this particular thing only. So you can feel free to test it out on other applications or anything like that. But uh, make sure you are using it properly. Okay. Or else you can mess up the stuff. So first me, let me say, uh, put the security to low so if you don't know this stuff so you can do uh, check out my previous videos on command injection vulnerability so i had made few easy videos on how this works and everything like that you can do check them out so i had submit i had uh, tested my security to low okay so i'll be going to this command injection page okay so i'll be copying this particular url so as i told you url is really necessary here So guys, the usage of this tool is really, really simple. So uh, I'll go a quick demo. So I loaded my command here previously. So what I'm doing is here. So you can see I used comics here and I used an option hyphen U. And this is the URL that I want to test for. Like if you go, I can show you this particular thing. This is the URL I want to test for. And guys, the issue. So let just a minute, guys. Uh, let me close this bub, uh, thing and uh, just a minute so burp suit is also necessary so i'll let you know why so once i had pasted my url i need to also specify the cookie so the reason is so, so once if i copy this particular url and once if i try that on uh, uh, any other browser so this comics tool is going to just a minute sorry so let me copy this url uh, copy selection and I'm going to paste this thing here. So like as soon as I paste the URL, you can see there is a redirection here. The reason is the comics is going to test it on other browser. Okay. So as soon as we uh, do that, it is going to ask me for the login here. So as I was already logged in, in this particular machines browser, and I will be not getting any stuff. Right, but since comics is trying it on another browser you'll be getting those stuff so for that i'm using something called as cookie option here so if you followed previous detailedly you can see i for i got the cookie so how i got cookie is also simple so once you logged in or you can use some cookie editor stuff as well uh, other extension as well so you can simply click, click a right click here so inspect the element you can go to console and you can simply do document dot cookie and you will be getting this option you can simply copy this thing and you can paste that over there okay and one important thing you need to do is so uh, let me have my foxy proxy so foxy proxy is uh, used for uh, this thing like for proxy burping or burp suit okay so let me quickly do this stuff i think there is some issue with my browser i had to do uh 
do a clean everything okay 127.0.0.1 and port 8080 so let me click on save here so so i'll go to my burp so this is my burp i'm going to tap proxy here you can see intercept is on so i'm turning on my intercept and i'll do quick uh, hello you can see i got an option here okay in, in this particular request you can see so let me go to the user options once again so let me try to uh, increase this a little bit uh, not this much okay so in proxy you can see i got some few options here like you can simply copy the cookie from here as well okay anything is fine you need to copy this particular thing ip hello and submit these are some parameters that we are that the browser is sending to the server okay so let me copy this thing and as soon as i copy this so i'm going to add another option here so which is very very important hyphen hyphen data okay and uh, i'm going to paste that in quotes okay and uh, and guys the important thing here is so we need to find out the parameter that is uh, vulnerable okay so in this case submit is like a submit button but this particular parameter or a variable ip is what uh, will be sending the input through or you, what you can do is you can simply add an input and you can test it on uh, your but you can see that on your burp you can see on like on uh, which parameter the input that, that you had provided is getting reflected and you can quickly do inject here so it is like ff only ff uf only i n j e c t h e r inject here and uh, you can simply hit enter so you can see it is testing for the url here like it is it is saying that a uh, testing connection to the uh, target url so it is going to take a small a small amount of time and it is going to give me the shell so guys it took a matter of few seconds like 30 to 40 seconds so that's the reason i paused the uh, recording for a while so you can see i'll be reading a log here like it is showing me that i haven't updated that's fine okay like it is testing the connection to the string it tested for some few parameter tested for the parameter ip here so that is what we specified and you can see it it was able to find out uh, the vulnerability and it is going to do the stuff so let me and the thing that is it is asking me here is do you want a pseudo terminal shell so you'll be getting a shell here so i'll hit y and hit enter so you can see we got a shell here so if i do a who am i uh you can see that uh, we are connected to this particular meta exploitable machine so if you can see here this particular tool is absolutely powerful what it requires is you need to specify this cookie here okay if it is required to okay like if there is any login thing to that particular application you need to specify the cookie okay and also this particular parameter so these parameters are necessary dead necessary okay and if you want to inject on any parameter you need to simply do inject here so you can like if you follow if you use this tool ffuf or fuff so there is something called as uh, fuzz there in that particular tool there is something called as fuzz there so for this tool it is something like inject here and we got the shell here okay you can simply do a netcat shell or you can like you can simply do anything here like you can take this to the next level if you want to okay so that is the thing and also guys this particular tool works properly even for this blind command injection as well okay so this tool works absolutely fine so now let's see some few other options that are available like as i told you i can show you all these options so if i click on this particular usage examples here so there are some few examples you can see this is the help option like you can enumerate as well like uh, that is not a big deal here for me so i'll show you that as well so no need to worry there but it takes few time so i'll do an exit here or i'll hit ctrl c it is fine so there are some few options here for enumeration so you can see there is something like uh, uh, let me go like you can look for the current user okay like you'll be not getting shell every time if you use this particular enumeration options enumeration options this password option will fetches the password hashes like if it is possible to okay you can use look for users and stuff as well so there are some few other modules you can it also checks for the shell shock so there is a machine called or box called a shocker in uh, hack the box so i use this particular comics tool uh, and i use this shell shock and it worked absolutely fine 
okay and there are some few other options as well like uh, as the level increases there is something called as level so as the level increases the number of tests complexity increases so by default is one like if you are testing on some real life applications you can use an option where varies from one to three okay so if you even keep three like it is the uh, firewall is going to uh, stop those stuff so okay be uh, wise while using those options and it is also going to use some offline mode as well so if you want to uh, make sure that your bandwidth is not going uh, ruined then you can use this op offline option and this skip web option is also useful like it skips this uh, web application firewall ips or ids protection stuff so coming to let me come back here and let me click on this uh, usage examples as well so there are few usage examples like you can see there are some few examples like this is the thing uh, this is the thing that we used like uh, uh, the thing like the thing that we use here is what we can see here okay so there are some other options as well like how you can exploit some uh, other vulnerable applications also like they had given some steps on how you can uh, uh, exploit those vulnerable applications like mutiny day or uh, other applications you can do check them out okay on key optics level 1.1 and everything they had given those things like this is like kind of walkthrough you can do check them out if you want to so that is it guys for this video like as i told you there are a lot of options to explore so the thing that i had shown you is really small and simple okay so you can always go and check them check out those options if you want to so that is it guys for today's video i hope you find this really uh, this video really helpful and if you want to uh, share this video to anyone who are really interested in this stuff you can go ahead and do this is Sattvik signing off and I'll meet you in the next video. Thank you. And all these links will be in the description below. You can do check, check out from there. Thank you.